Hello everyone, Jim here from Remick Museum and Farm, and I'm here over at the Cattle Barn because I've got a special thing I want to show you all. Uh, kind of a fun history moment for the farm and the museum, and thinking about uh, our connection to Doc Remick and uh, the Hillsdale Dairy that he had going on. And I'm going to share with you some really exciting things that we've got going on with the dairy operations and our own uh, cattle operations here with 4-H and the farm and the museum and everything and how it all comes together. So let's take a little step on into the cattle barn over here and see what we've got to share. And our spring surprise here at Remick Farm is the new Holsteins that have been born. Uh, this is Amity, and she was born on the 4th of June, 2020. And just in the pen to her left is Pippa, and she was just born on the 7th of June. And what's super exciting about this is these, as far as we know, are the first Holstein calves to be born on the farm since probably the very early 1970s when Doc Remick still had his Holstein herd, uh, the Hillsdale Dairy Herd, going on the farm. So we're really excited to have uh, new Holsteins here on the farm. You can see that we have our new calves uh, separated and they got their own little pens here. And this is important for our dairy cows, making sure that they are getting the proper nutrients that they need. We can, uh, we wanna really make sure that they're getting the amount of calories they need to be healthy, especially in their first, uh, definitely first few days and first few weeks until they're able to go out to pasture. And twice a day here at the farm is milking time. And you can see that both cows are at the stanchions um, being milked one at a time. And these stanchions are uh, not painful for the cows. They just can't back up and get detached from the milker. Uh, they're obviously getting a nice snack there, so they're pretty happy right now. Uh, while they're being milked, you can also see that uh, kick bar there. Um, again, not painful, but doesn't allow the cow to kick off the milking machine when, uh, when it's running. Um, but these are just things to help protect both the farmers and just keep the machine working properly. And here you can see uh, the finishing of the milking process and uh, Holsteins definitely create a lot of milk. Um, here almost towards the end we're about three gallons and this is the afternoon, the morning milking will have even more. Uh, in a modern facility they would often milk three times a day. Um, and all that milk is far more than one calf would need. And here's Amity getting her dinner. Again, uh, we closely regulate how much the calf is getting, and that's one, one reason, again, for the separation. We want to make sure she's not getting too much, but also making sure that she's getting just the right amount of nutrients. And uh, she definitely gets every last bit of this bucket.
And as Amity's finishing her dinner and checking to see if there's anything more in that bucket, uh, you can see how much work it goes into in having these healthy, uh, not only calves, but the cows. And our farm manager, Lindsay, and farm team member, Ryan, do a wonderful job of keeping an eye on all of the animals and making sure that everyone is healthy and happy here at the farm. So after Abby has been milked, now it is Primrose's turn. And can you guess which calf belongs to which calf? And here towards the end of milking, uh, usually the milking machine takes about five minutes to milk a cow and uh, much faster than hand milking, which might take 30 to 45 minutes, depending on your cow. And you can see here, uh, the other side of the bucket measures pounds. We're up towards 30 pounds of milk, which is pretty amazing. Um, some cows, some Holsteins can make 72,000 pounds of milk in a, in a year, over 365 days. It's pretty amazing how much milk modern dairy cows can produce. And here, Pippa is waiting for her bottle because she is still young enough that she is getting the very special colostrum from her mother. It's a special type of milk that has the antibodies that she needs to be a healthy cow because she doesn't have those naturally when she's born. All right, and after their time in the milking parlor, visiting their calves and uh, having their afternoon milking, uh, Primrose on the left and Abby on the right are headed back out to pasture, although not in a hurry after the, the free food they were getting in there. And if you guessed right, uh, Primrose on the left is Pippa's mom and Abby on the right is Amity's mother. So you can see some similar markings there. And as the uh, Primrose and Abby head back out the pasture, I just wanted to share uh, some of the history there of our Hillsdale dairy cows. And you can see this is a, a picture from Doc's uh, herd, um, which happened between the 19, early 1930s all the way to the early 1970s. And we still have a lot of that history on the museum ground. So the milk house, which was where most of all the processing happened, right? So they would uh, have, we've got some of the old milking equipment, right? Which happened in the barn, um, but then all that milk was brought over to the milk house where it was pasteurized. Uh, Doc had one of the earliest pasteurization machines uh, north of Rochester in New Hampshire, and he was bottling that milk. Uh, it needed to be cooled and stored, and everything was located in the milk house, which I'm hoping to get renovated here in the near future. That's our video for the day. Thanks for joining me for a little tour and history of our farm and some of the things that we're doing here today and hopefully in the future. Uh, it's great to get out and see some of the things that are going on. Again, hopefully we can see everyone real soon. Uh, if you're following along on YouTube, of course, give us a nice like and subscribe so you can keep seeing the newest videos that I'm putting out. And if you're on Facebook, just give us a like and maybe share with your friends and that way people can see what we're doing here at from Ick Museum and Farm uh, every day and definitely weekly with the videos. So take care everyone and I'll see you again real soon. Bye.